Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of 1025. It's farming week, which means we're visiting some of the local farming operations here in Carver County. And today I'm out at the Stender Dairy Farm, owned and operated by Tim and Daniel. And if you just look around me, it's, uh, it's kind of a mess out here. There's a, there's a lot of poo. And that's one of the realities of farming, especially with dairy cows, is, well, to quote the infamous Forrest Gump, manure happens. Well, honestly, I think he uses a little different language than that, but it's a reality. Uh, in fact, out here on the Stender Farm, every year, 1.5 million gallons of poo are created. Now, hopefully as I'm filming, none of the cows decide to have good aim in my direction, but every day somebody is out here cleaning this barn. And from here, the poo is taken out to a manure pit. I'm now standing out here next to the manure pit. And one of the things that you realize in farming is that waste is not wasted. What is scooped up and cleaned out of the cow barn is now taken and spread out on fields as a fertilizer, which brings a greater level of growth. I want us now to think about this in terms of our faith. Because here's the truth, manure happens. Things happen in life which are considered a, a waste and they're stinky and, and it's a difficult place for us to find ourselves. And yet what we realize is that waste is not wasted with God. Just like the manure that's hauled out of the cow barn, put in the manure pit, is now loaded into the spreader and is now used to, to fertilize the soil. So I believe that God works in the same way in our lives. There's a story, a, a parable that Jesus tells in Luke chapter 13. It, it's about a man who, who doesn't own a farm, but he owns a vineyard. And there's a particular tree that's not producing fruit. And so the caretaker, the, the farmer, so to speak, says, let it be. I'll fertilize it, I'll dig around it, I'll put some manure on it, and we'll see if it produces growth. And to think about what's happening right now in terms of, of COVID-19, and certainly uh, there's a lot of aspects to this that are not good, and it's challenging. And yet I believe that God is going to work through that to bring something good. Actually, you look at the story in Luke chapter 13 and the setup for it is, is people are coming to Jesus and they're bringing to him some of the latest gossip, some of the latest talk of do the town at that time. So you have some Galileans who went to the temple to offer sacrifices and Pilate didn't like that and so he killed them and then he mixed their blood together with the blood of sacrifices. Or there's a, a tower up in Siloam that had killed 18 people. And these things that weren't good were happening and yet, Jesus says, through this, he's going to bring people to repentance. And people are brought to a greater level of faith. And so it's just like digging around that tree and fertilizing it, spreading manure on it. Something that was considered a waste, God is not going to waste. Which is exactly what happens with Jesus. Through his death on the cross, as his blood flows down, it fertilizes the ground. And now, from that, the seed of faith is formed in us. And so I'm here on the Stender farm, and I'm talking about manure, but it's also the season where planting is happening, and where growth is coming from it. So one thing is wasted, is thrown away, and yet something else comes out of that, and there's growth. So I'm curious, what in your life right now would be considered manure? What's some of the, the struggle that you see in the world around us, some of the manure that's happening? 
post that in the comments section below. And then realize that even though manure happens, waste is not waste. God is able to use that to bring growth in the lives of others, in your life and in mine. And I'll see you again tomorrow.